Hello everyone. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect to the Amazon S3 file system uh, uh, to the CSV file format. Okay, so if you have CSV files on the S3 storage, uh, you can easily connect from the Nodo and and integrate your data uh, using that. So as before, I have my Tenodo instance running in the AWS Cloud Marketplace, and that's the one I'm going to use here for the demo. Uh, so let's get started. Here, what you see is the login to the Design Studio, and uh, once you connect to the Design Studio, which is the UI to your Tenodo server, uh, you can start configuring your instance and the connections. So here I'm gonna have multiple different databases. I'm gonna use this one here uh, called DV Big Data Ox. Uh, and here in the connectivity, you can start defining a data source. You can go directly to the database shell and from there also you can do a you know new data source. So depending on how we have structured this, you can you know define that. So before we go there, I'm going to quickly show you the S3 files that I have in my instance. So here, as you can see, I've logged into the Amazon console. This is an S3 bucket that I've created. Uh, there are around seven files. Each file has three different rows in it. So we'll see how we can get all of the data uh, using your instance. Okay. So let's get started. New data source. And here I'm going to pick the limited file. That's my CSV file. Let's give it a name DS test CSV. Give it S3 CSV so that it's clear. Data route here is going to be S3. So that's how you're going to connect to it. If you want to see more information, it takes you to the actual documentation. Under configuration, uh, the URL is going to be the URL to my uh, S3 bucket. So I have that here. I'm going to take that and put it here. And for authentication, we are going to use the I am credential, so you would need your access key ID and the secret access password. So I have created a temporary account where I'm going to use this. And let's put the secret password. Okay. And given that the CSV file has a comma delimited, so I'm going to enter that as a comma. And that's it. So that's how easy it is. You know, you can connect to all your your S3 bucket, which has all my CSV files. So let's do a test connection. And great. So that's working. I'm going to save it first. So once you save it, here you can see your DSS3 CSV connection uh, comes shows up under data sources. Now, what you can do is let's create a base view. Base view is importing the metadata uh, of all your data from the S3 bucket. So here, you know, I can give it a base name, a view name, and so it's going to create a view. Uh, I'm going to try and execute it just to see if we can get some sample data. And here you should be able to see all of that sample data that's stored in here. The file format needs to be the same. So here you can see you know, all the data that's in here uh, in all the seven different files. So store zero, store one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So that's around 28 rows. Um, and that's it. So here you can see that there is another uh, object. That's my base view created. And that's it. So I'm going to rename this so that for clarity's sake, I can you can tell that this is my base view. 
and I'm going to suffix it with BV. All right, so this is how easy it is to get connected, uh, get data from your connect to the CSV files on S3 in your S3 bucket, and then bring all of the data um, in, in through a base view. Now you can connect these base views to the other data that you want to integrate and then quickly work with this. So that's easy it is. All right, with that, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.